It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Credence Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Freedom American Pale coming in at 4.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. Black bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. As I pour the beer, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Chris, who was kind enough to pick these beers up and send them down to me. Really appreciate the kind gesture. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, we kind of rely on people to keep kind of feeding the channel with content by you sending us kind of stuff. Um, we've been sent a lot of food lately as well, which is amazing. Um, the beers, the food, it just feeds the channel full of content and, and you get to enjoy it if you want to tune in. Um, so thank you very much to Chris for sending me the beer. This is a one finger white head. Uh, it's a hazy amber coloured beer, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. That just smells pretty brilliant. Really juicy, great characteristic. Um, it's just really quite, quite tart, there's a tartness in there. Grapefruit. Maybe a bit of white grape, something like that. Fruit jam, a jammy tart that's coming through. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh, wow, I'm going back in. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic American Pale Ale. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. It kind of, where does it sit for American Pale Ale? Right. It's kind of straddling the lines of New England IPA style beer with this lots of flavour in the middle. And then it's saying to me, there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. So it's doing two things. Lots of flavour in the middle, lots of grapefruit, pine, fleshy blood orange, passion fruit, mango, that sort of kind of middle. And then it's saying, it's not just a kind of a, a flavour in the middle, it's some nice bitterness on the back end. Lovely. Lovely, lovely beer. Let's talk about the drinkability. Now I've chilled this down a bit. But I've not chilled it down too much that I've started to lose the flavour. It's chilled down to a nice level. It's probably six to seven degrees, which is perfect because it's still relatively cold and you're getting lots of flavor. The drinkability, the carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavor, but it's fan it's a smasher. What I call a smasher of a beer, which I mean, you finish work, you may be a little bit kind of like, a bit tired, you make your way to the pub, or you make you make yourself a home these days with with a with a bottle of ale in the fridge. You pick this up, you've opened it, and bang, there it is. There's that punch. There's that kind of that spark that you've needed to to revitalise your day, to kickstart your evening. It's lovely. It's a really, really good example of an American pale ale. What I really like about the beer is, is I'm going to say it again, is just the drinkability. The fact there's lots of flavour and the fact that I just want to keep sipping it. I want to sip it and sip it. And then once it's gone, it's one of these beers you want another. And then you want another. And then you want another. Yeah, a fantastic example of an American pale ale. Let's um, talk about the malts.
a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of biscuitiness. It's, it's just really good. It's a really good beer. Nice balance. Sweetness over to the bitterness on the back end. Loads of flavour in the middle. Um, did the brewery say anything on the... Ah, no, it's just... It's just a little bit of information. So it's Cascade, Chinook, Citra and Mosaic. So all of the them wonderful kind of juicy hops that are in the beer. This is my first beer from Credence and I really hope it's not my last. Wonderful, wonderful introduction to this brewery. They are definitely on my radar. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Little Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.